we continue our discussion of pot distillation with master distiller Tad Seastead. Is a preheater. So it doesn't actually need to be there but for part of the distillation process. One is to save time and the other is to save fuel. So this gallonage is exactly the same gallonage that's in the kettle. The liquid that's in the preheater, instead of being at ambient temperature, and right now in the winter, our ambient temperature is about 50 degrees inside the building, um, this will bring it up to about 120 or 130 degrees. So it saves us you know, probably about an hour uh, in the heat up time, which is normally about three hours to get this to boil. So it would shave that time down to two hours, maybe a little bit less, and uh, save time and, and energy. So the preheater was made in four separate sections, plus the top hat, which is strictly ornamental. Um, but so they are working, you can see the sheet, size sheets of copper that they were working with on this. It's pretty clear that other one is buried by bricks. And at the top of the preheater is, um, is a lid, you know, sort of looks like the top of a, you know, a Russian Orthodox church or uh, maybe a, a mosque or something. And that, that is strictly ornamental. That has no bearing at all on what happens inside the preheater. This is the pipe that empties the preheater down into the kettle for your, for your next run. And the top pipe can either go through the preheater or you can bypass and go around the preheater if you don't want to either use the preheater or the liquid in the preheater has hit the temperature that you want and you don't want it to go higher. And then the last, the third uh, tank or vessel is the condenser. So this is filled with cold water from top to bottom. And there's about 13 or 14 coils of that uh, pipe. And that's about a two inch, a little less than a two inch diameter pipe. It's metric. Um, and this is where it exits. So this is all coils slowly descending down until you hit the bottom. This is a spirits receiver. Some people call this a parrot's beak. Uh, inside this uh, is where the hydrometer sits so we can monitor the percentage of alcohol and um, has a little vent uh, of course you can't otherwise you'd have vapor lock and the liquid wouldn't come out very easily um, and the liquid just comes out of this pipe it's an open pipe this this is open all the way back through into the kettle so the first time through um, is that the first runs are all saved. We normally do three to five first runs to have enough volume to do a second run in this still. <laughs> Maybe I can sneak up Maybe on Maybe it'll you. come to me in a little while. Maybe I should drink some more coffee or something. Well, are you a distiller? Sometimes. <laughs>